Oh boy, I'm happy to be here. I have horrible anxiety and panic. I have panic disorder, panic attacks. I don't know if you've ever had one of those. They're pretty brutal. If you've never had one, it's almost like you're being attacked by panic. That's how I would sort of just. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but. Uh, I had to go to a therapist because I kept having panic attacks. The therapist told me a panic attack is fight or flight phenomenon. I don't know if you know that term. That's when your brain prepares your body to fight or flee from whatever it's afraid of. She said it happens in nature. I think that's cool. <laughs> the only weird thing is I get panic attacks when I'm talking to girls, so that's sort of a weird situation. I'll be at a bar after the show and some girl's like, you're really funny tonight. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to fight this bitch. <laughs> Can't run away. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> like, put him up, young lady. I don't appreciate this. And, uh, I had to go back to my therapist and be like, is there a chat and get laid option in nature? That would be enjoyable. I've, I've been fighting a lot of women lately. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm undefeated, but uh, my shoulders are killing me. It's nerve wracking talking to girls. You never know how they're going to react. I told the girl she was pretty the other day, she got mad at me. She was like, I don't need you to validate me. I thought, jeez, I was just trying to be nice. Um, I didn't mean to imply that you're a mall parking garage ticket. Uh, so if it makes you feel any better, I only think you're pretty on the outside now. Um, you seem like a very unpleasant human being to me. I love the girls, I have a girlfriend, but I still like checking girls out. That's a nice thing to do, right? You ever get caught checking out a girl with your girlfriend, not because she sees you, but because you elbow her, thinking she's one of your buddies? <laughs> so my girlfriend the other day, I'm like, check out this, this ugly bitch over here. <laughs> Look at that slut. I hate that woman. <laughs> I thought you were Phil. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I like my girlfriend. We have sex. We don't have kids. Kids are a big side effect of sex. Gotta watch out for that. <laughs> I like hanging out with kids because you can always make them laugh. That's what's nice. Adults can be very difficult. But if you want to make a kid laugh, all you have to do is guess the kid's age, but you guess five years higher than you know they are. They lose their mind. <laughs> you walk up to a five-year-old, what are you, 10, 12? You get your license? You're married? The kid's like, ah! <laughs> get the hell out of here! <laughs> it kills. That joke does not work with adults at all. <laughs> Can't walk up to a woman. What are you, 50? Menopausal? Divorce? Get out of here! She's like, that's not funny. I'm like, well, you've changed, young lady. That used to be hilarious. I read an article recently. It said sometimes if a baby is crying, it could be as little a thing as the baby has an itch, but doesn't have the capacity to scratch it. So it's like a dumb, itchy baby. So, if you ever run a crying baby, just scratch the hell out of that thing. That's what I do. I'm like, I got this one, everybody, and I scratch them all up. And my sister's like, why is the baby all red? I'm like, he's probably emotional. And somebody figured out what was wrong. And people always feed their babies that's crying. That usually works. But that does not necessarily mean that it wasn't itchy. If I had an itch that I couldn't reach and somebody put their breast in my mouth, I'd be like, well, forget about that itch. Tit trumps itch is the lesson of that <laughs> joke. I have a nephew, he's adorable, he's six years old, we were hanging out the other day. I was teaching him some life lessons. In the middle of my big speech, he goes, Uncle Joe, why are your teeth all yellow? I was like, I think it's because Santa Claus isn't real. That's probably the main reason. <laughs> and we both had a good cry, and that felt good. And, uh, I like kids. It's a lot of work having kids. I know it is, because people with kids try to get me directly involved with their kids without asking my permission first. <laughs> I was at a supermarket the other day. This woman was pushing a baby carriage. The baby was crying. She yelled at it. She's like, you better stop crying. You're bothering this nice young man right here. <laughs> and she points at me. Now I'm just involved in disciplining a child <laughs> that I don't know. I was like, you're actually not bothering me at all. You're bothering your mother, and she's bothering me. That's what's actually <laughs> happening. I'm stoned, buying fudgicles. I could care less that your baby is crying. <laughs> he probably just needs to be scratched, so. 